What's up guys, Moses Bargate Smith here, back with another video with power and prowess. And today, I'm bringing you guys my number one preventative exercise against knee injuries. Now, knee injuries can come in many different forms and sizes, uh, whether that be tendonitis, uh, sprains to the ligaments, tears to the meniscus, and of course, various different gradings within those injuries themselves. Um, but what I'm bringing you guys today is what I believe to be the most bang for your buck exercise in minimizing your chances of sustaining most knee injuries that can occur. Now, just a quick disclaimer before I show you guys the exercise. This by no means is going to guarantee uh, the minimization of you sustaining a knee injury. Uh, with sport being very uh, unpredictable and many factors within being intangible in nature, um, it's hard to guarantee things like that. However, as I mentioned at the start, I think this is the most bang for your buck exercise and I think it's going to do a great job in reducing the chances of you sustaining any sort of knee injury. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the exercise that I'm about to demonstrate is known as the Poliquin Step Up or the Pedersen Step Up. And the way that you set up for it is by getting a slant board or any sort of heel elevation. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to have one foot on and then the opposite foot out in front. Now, if you don't have a slant board, you can use any sort of heel elevation, uh, such as a weight plate, a stack of tiles, uh, whatever you've got available to you. You just have to be creative. From here, what you want to do is you want to maintain nice alignment with the hip, the knee, and the ankle. And whilst maintaining a nice high arch, what you want to do is in a nice and controlled manner, you want to descend down by bending the knee over the second toe. Now, as you come in contact with the ground slightly with the opposing leg, what you want to do is without bearing all of your weight onto that foot, you want to descend back up in a nice, slow and controlled manner, maintaining alignment, maintaining a high arch and locking out the knee. Now, I like to perform three sets of 12 reps each leg with this exercise. And as you guys probably just saw, I'm performing it without shoes. And the reason why is because it requires a lot more stability and just a lot more overall awareness uh, in performing it. So, a couple of reasons why this exercise is so great at preventing so many knee injuries is because when you perform this exercise, it doesn't just require stability through the knee itself, it actually requires stability through the distal structures, such as the hip and the ankle. So during this exercise, you're working the glute medius, which is the stabilizer of the hip, and you're also working the lateral and the medial ligaments of the ankle whilst maintaining a high arch. That being the tibio-calcaneal ligament and the uh, calcaneo-fibular ligament. So, at the same time, when you look at the knee itself, you're also stimulating the vastus medialis oblique. So this is one of the components of the quadriceps. And what it's doing is it's allowing for proper tracking of the patella, which is the tendon that connects the patella bone and the kneecap to the tibia, which is the shin bone. So by having stability in the distal structures uh, surrounding the knee, you're maximizing your chances of not sustaining uh, an injury to that area by combating against things like valgus and varus, which as you may know, will end up uh, spraining the MCL or the LCL. Hope you guys enjoyed my video on my number one preventative exercise against knee injuries. Uh, if you guys don't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and definitely go and follow Power and Prowess on Instagram. That's power underscore and underscore prowess. Uh, also, leave a like, leave a comment and definitely turn the post notifications on. I'll be bringing out a lot more content uh, very, very soon. Uh, and other than that, hope you guys are all staying safe during isolation. Uh, we'll be getting through this very, very soon. So, yeah, keep your fingers crossed. Do all of the necessary protocols. Wash your hands. Keep your distance. Uh, and we'll get there, team. Cheers, guys.